Over the last several years, rainfall has been below average here, and the reservoirs have been dipping. The town of Ipswich has declared a severe drought, and they've also placed a mandatory water ban, so you can't irrigate your landscape. So we have to figure out a way to provide water to the landscape without using town water. A lot of planning has gone into the solution by civil engineer John Morin. Hey, John. Hey, Jen. Nice to see you again. Good to see you. Great. So let's talk about drainage on the entire site. I mean, when we have a river or a body of water, that means Conservation Commission and wetlands usually, right? Correct. With the Ipswich River, the jurisdiction for the Conservation Commission is pretty much the entire site. Right. So one of the big things is dealing with the additional runoff from the additional roof areas as part of the project. Right. In order to do that, we're proposing a roof recharge system to deal with that runoff. Right, because it can't just all sheet off into the river, right? Exactly. Okay. So we're going to be capturing the roof runoffs from port different portions of the structure and directing them to the different cisterns and to the roof recharge area. Okay. The gutter systems for the cisterns will be capturing the roof runoff along this edge to the cistern, capturing the roof runoff here into this cistern. Mm -hmm. The other cistern is gonna capture the roof runoff in the front. It's gonna direct all the way down to the cistern down by the boathouse. Okay. And then the roof runoff from the boathouse will be tied into the cistern. Okay, and each of these are 2,500 gallons. Correct. So the homeowners could use the water in the cisterns to irrigate their landscape. That's correct. Okay. And then we've got the recharge system, which is really part of the regulations. So recharge just basically means send the water back into the earth. That's correct. Okay. So this recharge area is going to capture all of that roof with a gutter system that will direct to one side and then a gutter system that will direct to the other side. Okay, let's go down there and see how this is all going to play out. Sounds good. As you can see here, they started to install the drainage for the recharge system. Okay. This pipe's going to capture the gutters from up top. That'll get directed over to the recharge system out in the back that okay. hasn't been installed yet. Okay. And the pipe that you see here yep. is directing the runoff from the roof out front that mm -hmm. we're capturing and is going to be directed to the cistern down by the boathouse. Well, let's go see where this line goes. So I understand this cistern was delivered by crane and set in place yesterday? Exactly. So this is one of the 2,500 gallon cisterns, mm -hmm. two compartment tank. There's a baffle wall separating the two compartments, provides additional filtration from one compartment to the other. And then there'll be a pump in the second compartment. And that's where the homeowners could hook up their hose to irrigate their landscape. Exactly. Excellent. Well, overall, I think this plan really works well for this site. I mean, it's water conservation, you have a sustainable landscape, and you're protecting the wetlands and riverway. Exactly. So, awesome. Well done. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.